Are progression series not scratching that itch for jank? Is a tier zero TCG meta getting you down? Well, when the TCG gets tired and limited gets too limited, it's time for Wave Motion Yu-Gi-Oh! A constructed series where four creative duelists build cool brews in a strange format. Here's how it works. Each episode, we spin a wheel containing every core set and most side sets from Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. The set the wheel chooses becomes the centerpiece of the format, granting each player three copies of every card printed in it. From there, the format expands like a wave, offering two of every card from the adjacent two core sets and one of each from the two sets beyond those. In addition, cards from all the promos and side sets in between are allowed at one, and all structures and starters from the time are allowed at two. The results? A format like no other, a meta where the power of Constructed meets the spirit of Jank. With those cards in their arsenals, the contestants will build the coolest decks they can think of and duke it out in a best of one bracket. Players won't just be fighting for the win though, but also for the hearts of chat, competing to be elected the People's Duelist at the end of every episode. What wild adventures lie ahead? We'll just have to watch to find out. What is up, kings, queens, and monarchs of every element? I am the one, the only, the RJB0, also known as RJ the Jank Monarch. And today, I'm actually joined from the start by Sophie, apparently, Keegan of E3 Yu-Gi-Oh! and Golden Nova Yu-Gi-Oh! Because today, we're making a change to the series. We're doing something a little bit different. We are all going to be here live to react to the set that we spin on this wheel. And boy, do I hope that this is a good one because last week uh, <laughs> was no. suspect. We all played some wonderful, diverse decks that were wonderful and fun to play against. Yeah, and every one of us had a really good time. A absolutely, of none us, of us got bullied. Every one of us who resolved painful choice, that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully no sets that involve painful choice today. Are we ready to spin that wheel? One might say I was born ready. <laughs> we are uh -huh. not getting started on that again. Let us spin <laughs> the wheel. Coming. Here we go. Okay, okay. 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 The, is the duelist, duelist revolution. Oh, oh, this one is gonna slap. Wait, are you serious? This set is so based. Oh wow. Okay, this set so is one of the coolest ever. So wait, uh I'm, you can tell where my mind's going already. So triple Dante, all the best. Burning Abyss. That would be the uh, Duelist Alliance, Nova. No, 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 no. It's the Duelist Alliance. Here, get that get that out of there. Don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Just change the last one. It's fine. Do it for me. <laughs> Duelist Revolution is famous for including Solemn Warning, Pot of Duality, the Scrap Monsters, oh, uh, so Horn fun. of the Phantom Beast. Yo, this is going to be so much fun. This is like my favorite, like my favorite set of all time. It's not a great set. Uh, for constructed Yu-Gi-Oh, but for limited, oh, this is going to be such a blast! It's going to be so cool. I do ref regret to inform all of you that Max C is going to be at two for this. Mm. Really, the optimal place for Max C to be at. True. All Big right. master dual energy this time around. Let's see what else we've got to work with this time around. So I have the order of set release open. And we're going to TCG 2011, I believe, or is it 2010 Duelist Revolution? Um, it is 2010. It is 2010? Okay. Yes! Oh, man. Oh, man. The power level in Dual Terminal 4 is so high. We've got Royal Oppression and Trap Dust Shoot. Two cards I'm very familiar with. Uh-oh. Not excited to play against either. If we have two copies of Heavy Storm, this is going to be a wild one. This is going to be a wild one for sure. A lore of darkness is in there too. Holy moly. It's gonna be a good format. There's a lot of crazy stuff because a lure of darkness, um in this format specifically, I actually think the best decks are not gonna be dark decks. I think they're gonna most likely be like the 
the variety synchro decks. So Allure of Darkness will help out like maybe like the slower like Gravekeeper strategies. Whereas like the actual good decks be looking more towards like the Foolish Burial, that sort of thing. For yeah. sure. And the Gravekeeper decks get a triple pot of duality, which could be really strong for them. That's true. Mm. That could be devastating. Devastating. Royal Tribute in the format. That's the real question. And, well, wait, Gladiator Proving Ground. Wait a second. Does that count? Nova. 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 No, we no. also only get one copy of each of the six Sams, so I need you to calm yourself for a second. <laughs> Nova, we need to stage an intervention. Hmm. <laughs> this, is, this is probably my favorite week yet. And I'm really excited to see what we can come up with because there are just so many cool cards that I think didn't get a chance to shine at the time in 2011 because they were they were power creeped or pushed out by the better decks of the format that are really going to get to shine in this in this. So this is going to be really cool. Ooh. Well, with that, let's get into deck building. Well, I didn't expect to see you here this episode. We were supposed to do all of our reactions and analysis live and together. However, as you probably started to notice upon our spinning the wheel, my computer gained all of the processing power of a 1960s refrigerator. And upon making eye contact with the Discord share screen button, immediately became a PowerPoint presentation. So unfortunately, I am going to have to do this with y'all canned today. Needless to say, though, everybody was extremely excited. For my part, the Duelist Revolution is one of my favorite sets ever. And looking at our card pool, this might be one of our coolest waves yet. Not just in the show, but even when planning out the inspiration for this show. It contains exactly what you want out of a wave motion set. In our card pool are a bunch of low power archetypes and strategies backed up by some extremely high power support cards that will make them shine in a way they never got to in the TCG. So let me take you through the sets and show you what we got. Starting with the Duelist Revolution itself. DREV is famous for a few things, most notably its staples in Effect Veiler, Solemn Warning, and Pot of Duality. I'm most excited for Pot of Duality here because it is a consistency card for any strategy while also slowing down the game a little bit. We aren't probably going to see extremely long games, but Pot of Duality will give some of our lower power archetypes a little bit of a chance to get in the game. Probably our highest power archetype that we have to work with is the Scraps. All of the Scrap monsters that were relevant to TCG play at the time are at three, including both of the major Synchros. We also have the two major Spell Trap cards, Storm and Yard, and that's pretty much all the deck needs to function. To really pop off like it did in the TCG, it really needs a non-tuner. We have to remember that Scraps didn't get a meta showing until they got Reborn Tengu. We're going to have to figure out what we can combine with them in this set to make this strategy shine but needless to say i'm excited for it this is one of my favorites in history we also get horn of the phantom beast at three which supports the thunder unicorn archetype this was really bad in the tcg but because we get three of all of the support cards maybe it's got a little bit of game here Speaking of things that were garbage in the TCG, Amazonuses have some broken spell traps for limited. And Nachuria Bamboo Shoot gets a shot here today. Nachuria Bamboo Shoot famously lurked at the edge of the meta, but because of its difficult summoning condition, never really got to make a splash. We may see this card today. Our two of start with the Shining Darkness, which is famous for a couple of archetypes. Notably the Double X Sabers, which we probably have enough to make an engine of, and the Infernities, which you may not expect to make any kind of difference today. However, because we have two of all of the support cards and one of each of the mainline monsters, there may be a way to jam this strat. Watts are in here, and there's no chance they're going to see play today without Watt Cobra. And then, of course, there's Spore one of the most powerful synchro support cards ever, which segues really nicely into our second two of set, Star Strike Blast. Star Strike Blast contains, get, get, get that out of here, Glow Up Bulb, another one of the most powerful synchro support cards ever. I expect this card to show up in a lot of decks and to create some really cool synchro strategies alongside Spore and the one of Dandelion that we get. 
Formula Synchron and Tuning also have the potential to really buff up our Synchro Strat. We have the 5D's Duelist Toolbox Starter Deck in here at two, which gives us two of Junk Synchron and two of Quick Draw Synchron. Star Strike Blast is also famous for introducing the Karakuris, which work really well with our first structure deck, the Machina Mayhem structure deck. We didn't get to see Machinas in our first episode despite their getting a structure deck, but today they have a huge amount of potential. Karakuri Machina Plant is a deck that was powerful, albeit not meta relevant at this time. And we also have the Gadgets in here, which was a meta relevant strategy at the time. We get a couple of staples in Cyber Dragon, Cyber Valley, Dimensional Prison, and Dust Tornado, which really rounds out this deck in a way that makes it powerful in this meta. Our starter deck, as alluded to earlier, has some important cards in it. We get double Dust Tornado and a double Giant Trunade, which will be great for clearing out back row and keeping some unnamed floodgates out of the meta. But we also have our mandatory two card destruction. Fortunately, I am not terribly worried about this card. None of our archetypes really abuse it too terribly. And finally, Structure Deck Merrick has all the Gravekeepers, except Recruiter, which we have it to at Star Strike Blast. This set is really really cool. There are so many things that could be played today and a lot of things I probably even haven't mentioned. Let's check in on the other players and see how well their strategies are cooking. Well, here we are. I built four decks for this format and I tested all of them extensively. I had a great time deck building for DREV and I had such a hard time choosing between my decks that I actually had my chat vote for the deck that I'm going to play tonight. And this is the one they chose. The other three decks are Scrap Gravekeeper, Machina Synchro, and an Amazonist deck. But chat saw this monstrosity and decided I absolutely had to play it. And I'm kind of glad they did. This deck out of all of them is the one that I labbed the most. It's also the jankiest. I'm not hugely confident in its ability to perform, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm really excited to play out the duels just to see if we get to do some of the cool things that this deck does. What does this deck do? It plays beasts. I am playing exclusively beasts in the main deck and mostly beasts in the extra deck so that I can play Solidarity. This deck is like, worse than Amazon, worse than gadgets, and worse than scraps. But if you like combine the worst versions of all those decks together, you end up with something pretty competent. Solidarity is great because it makes all of our beasts pretty pressure heavy, especially when backed up by the triple Horn of the Phantom beast that we get for this. And there are some really cool interactions. Mostly, I don't even plan to synchro with this deck. I just want to normal summon beast monsters, get some utility effects, and then hit in with them. First of all, the cards I don't have to explain, the scrap monsters. Do I summon scrap dragon in this deck? Only if I'm desperate, but Scrap Chimera summons Scrap Beast, and that's two beasts on the field for the price of one. With Solidarity behind them, Scrap Chimera is a 2500 and Scrap Beast is a 2400, and that's pretty darn good. Next, we have a copy of Chain Dog. Chain Dog is pretty good because if you have exactly two beasts on the field, you can summon it from your grave and then it gets banished. That's a pretty decent effect. So if we summon a Scrap Chimera and use it to get a Scrap Beast, now we've got a Chain Dog. With Solidarity behind that, that that's almost 8,000 damage in and of itself. Next, we have three copies of Hypnocorn. Hypnocorn is cool because if I don't have any monsters, but my opponent does, it's Breaker the Magical Warrior, and it's a beast, which is pretty darn strong. Next, we have one Super Nimble Mega Hamster. This is mostly to get us into our Key Mouse, but it can also get us into pretty much everything in this bottom row of monsters. Next, we have Rescue Cat. Rescue Cat is pretty much Rescue Cat. You use it to get one copy of Elephun, your level two beast tuner, and one copy of Lock Cat to summon Naturia Beast. If I can pull that off, I will probably be in a pretty good position to win the game, especially if I can back it up with Solidarity. Elephun is our level two tuner. It's also important because if it's destroyed by battle, I can... No, this actually sucks. It is literally just a level two tuner. It's got a level three restriction on it, so it can't even get back Chain Dog. But you know, we can always wish. Next, we have Double Key Mouse. This card is the key of the deck. Key Mouse, when it's destroyed by battle, adds a level three or lower beast type monster from your deck. The level three or lower beast type monster you're going to be adding most of the time is Lock Cat. Lock Cat is a level three monster with 1200 attack. 
that when you normal summon it, selects a level one beast type monster from your graveyard and special summons it to the field. This creates a powerful resource loop. If you have solidarity in play, you can normal summon lock cat, get your key mouse, and then you've just got a 2000 attack point monster and a battle recruiter on the field. And you can keep doing that because if the key mouse gets destroyed by battle, you can add back another lock cat. You can also do this in conjunction with creature swap to basically get brain control plus a rota off of your key mouse, which is a really sick combination. We don't really have any level four synchros except for our fabled synchros synchros, which both happen to be level four beasts. So we're running one copy of the fabled Pegasus, our level one beast tuner from the fabled lineup so that we can go into the fabled unicorn and the fabled Kudabi. Unicorn is really cool because it can control the field as long as you can maintain the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, which is pretty easy for this deck to do considering the number of spell traps it has. And the fabled Kudabi, if you have zero cards in your hand, can't be destroyed by battle or card effect. And I hear that's a pretty good effect. With solidarity behind it, this is basically an unkillable 30,000 attack point monster, which is nuts. That's the monster lineup, and that's most of what this deck does. We have one MST in case Hypnicorn isn't enough, one Dark Hole because it's Dark Hole, one Pot of Greed because it's Pot of Greed, triple Pot of Duality if we don't special summon a monster in a turn, that's perfectly fine, double Book of Moon. This is more... Uh, it's more versatile than a trap card and helps us stop plays in ways that Solemn Warning maybe sometimes is a little too risky to do. Double Solidarity, this card is nuts in this deck. All of your monsters get incredibly beefy under it. One Creature Swap for the above named reasons. Triple Horn of the Phantom Beast, one Raigeki Break. This is our last removal spell. This is kind of cool for a number of reasons. It has a kind of meme interaction with the fabled Pegasus, but mostly it is a way for us to get spot removal at any point in the duel, which is pretty solid for this deck. And many of the things that you can discard, you're going to be summoning back from the graveyard anyway. Double Mirror Force because it's Mirror Force, Triple Solemn Morning because it's Solemn Morning, and one Ring of Destruction. This deck is probably really good with floodgates like Royal Oppression and Vanity's Emptiness, but screw it, I ain't running that shit. That's boring as hell. We're playing beasts. Our extra deck is all the above named cards plus triple scrap dragon in case I just totally give up on the solidarity uh, play. Double lightning tricorn, uh, Trishula Naturia Leo Drake, which is a beast with 3000 attack points. Hmm? Mm, pretty good. And that's pretty much the deck. I built this deck because I wanted to show off some of the unsung heroes of Duelist Revolution's era. Lockcat and Hypnocorn are two really cool cards, and the Beast Synchro archetype, such as it is, has a really cool concept, but never really got capitalized in the TCG. And that's what this format is all about. So I'm going to be repping this deck and hopefully... Hopefully, we can get a cool showing from some of its strats. Let's get into the games. Wave Motion Week 4. This is one of the coolest decks I think I've ever built. This is a deck I'm very proud of. This deck functions very consistently. I spent a little bit too much time testing this deck. I'm very, very excited to tell you guys about it. But first things first, you've got to subscribe to RJ because this series has been a blast and it's only going to get more and more crazy as we reveal more weeks. It's now a weekly series. I don't know if we if we announced that yet or <laughs> if I'm if I'm spoiling a little bit too much, but you know, here we are. Here we are. This is my Chaos Scraps deck list. We've got Scrap Chimera, Scrap Beast, the main engine of course. We've got 10 draw spells, 3 Scrap Storm, 2 Allure of Darkness, 3 Pot of Duality, Pot of Greed and Cyber Jar. These are ways to find our other power cards from the Duelist Pack Kaiba, aka Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End, and Crush Card Virus. Crush Card Virus is live very frequently in this deck, between of course the 10 draw spells. We've also got two Gen X Neutron to search for Ally of Justice Cycle Reader, and we've got two Gravekeeper Spy to search for Gravekeeper's Guard as ways to turn on our Crush Card Virus. Gen X Ally Birdman's actually really incredible in this deck. He can help you pick up Gen X Neutron, pick up Scrap Chimeras, get additional pluses that way. He's also just a solid tuner that can turn into a Scrap Archfiend if you need a big monster in a pinch. There's a lot of power cards in this week's format between Trap, Dust Shoot, Royal Oppression, but the one I'm the most scared of is Chaos, Emperor, Dragon, Envoy of the End. Another thing that the Cycle Reader does is it keeps your opponents off of lights so that they can't Chaos, Emperor, Dragon you. That's basically the plan with this deck and hopefully just win with like a Scrap Dragon or a Scrap Twin Dragon. These cards play very well into the three Solemn Warnings, which is the best trap card in this format. I'm expecting a lot of Solemn Warning happening 
We have a main deck Cyber Dragon to deal with machines in case that comes up. He can also allow us to make the Scrap Twin Dragon with our Scrap Beasts. We're playing three beasts, two Chimera, because Chimera can actually brick early on in multiples. And we can loop the Chimeras back if we have Scrap Beast, Scrap Storm, and whatnot. Or we can summon it and then bounce it back with Birdman, reuse the same one multiple times. There's a lot of reasons why only two Chimera, but three Scrap Beast is optimal in a deck list like this. There was another deck I wanted to show you guys real quick before we go into things that I wanted to play this week. But I think it got hindered a little bit by the lack of first turn draw. This is a Machina Karakuri Synchro deck that I had plans to bring until we decided that it was for the best interest that we didn't get a draw going first. This deck struggles a little bit more going into Solemn Morning. Scrap Dragon is a very powerful way to play in Solemn Morning in the other deck. In this deck, you don't really have that sort of synchro play that plays very well into Warning. Ring of Destruction is very powerful. Crush Card Virus is very powerful. We have a similar engine with the Gen X Neutrons to find the Cycle Reader in this deck. We also do have the powerful gear frames in this list. If you're looking to recreate the list from this week, I think this is a fun sort of head-to-head -head challenge you could build. Uh, scraps and the Machinas, eh, something to consider. We'll see you guys in the matches. Deck building for Duelist Revolution is not easy. There are a ton of potentially viable decks in this format, and deciding and optimizing one is extremely difficult. I went through a lot of ideas, from wants, which seemed really funny on paper, but in practice are too fragile without Want Cobra. Gadgets, which is a deck I absolutely love, and can do some interesting stuff by hybridizing with Karakuri, but I think it's a little bit too good for my tastes. I wanted some jank. And most of all, I tried so hard to assemble a synchro deck capable of summoning Red Nova Dragon or Shooting Star Dragon, but the tools just aren't quite there. We are so close, but we just don't have it. And as you can see, the deck I did settle on is Amazonis. Woman deck, lady deck, lesbian deck, is gonna be a good one. There are a lot of things I like about this list that I want to get into. So, Amazonists, for those who don't know, um, are a bunch of monsters that don't really do much of anything. Their effects are like, okay, but certainly not enough to build a deck around. The back row, however, is very, very good. Amazonist Village turns every one of your Amazonists into a floater letting you summon another Amazonist from the deck when one is destroyed, and Amazonist Willpower is just an in archetype Call of the Haunted in a format with essentially no generic revival cards legal. Put those two together, combined with the two copies of Rhoda in the format, and you have the ability to pretty much always keep a monster on the field. Which means, if you play a control strategy with a bunch of back row, you can pretty easily grind opponents out, or Use tuners like Pashuol and Glow Up Bob to go into incredibly powerful synchros like Naturia Beast and Bakion. So, that is the high level theory behind the deck. Let's go through the card by card. Amazonist Chainmaster can steal a card from the opponent's hand when it dies in battle, which is funny. It's not that good, but it's funny, and frankly, there aren't enough good Amazonuses to play. Amazonist Paladin is essentially an 1800 beta that sometimes gets a little bigger than that, which is good enough. Amazonist Queen is here, both because she's a very powerful card if you are able to summon her out, preventing your Amazonist monsters from being destroyed by battle, including herself, and also because I want her to choke me. Amazonist Sage is MST after she battles and remains on field. It's a pretty good effect, maybe the best one on a level 4 or lower Amazonist, so she is in here, but only at 2 because her attack is quite low. Amazonist Swordswoman is some bird damage and reasonable stats, and Amazonist Trainee sends monsters it destroys back into the deck to let you deal with floaters. That's the whole Amazon lineup. We don't need too many because Village turns one Amazonist into every Amazonist, and willpower lets us recycle them anyway. Glow up bulb next up is our Naturia Beast Enabler, and it is very good at doing that. Max C is here, it's just a generic good card, and I'm happy playing it. Plague Spettle Zombie can't make Bonkion because it's not us, but it's still nice to have. Warrior Lady floats into any Amazonas. And X Saber Pashuan is the Earth Warrior Tuna we can search with Rhoda and use to make Bonkion. As for spells, I'm on the 3 village, of course, best card in the deck. One Braincon, one Darkhole, 
double foolish is quite good. We can send something like a glow up or a plague to go for a synchro play, or send queen to bring back with willpower. Giant Trunade is crazy. Part of duality is insane, especially in a deck that special summons as little of this one. One part of greed, because we get one part of greed for some reason, and the two Rotas. And you may have noticed a card I skipped, my favorite card in the deck, Miracle Synchro Fusion. This card lets you fusion summon a fusion that requires a synchro as material, using cards from your graveyard and those materials. And it is, I think, really strong late game. It honestly should not be a card in this deck. Like, it bricks early game, it's really clunky. But if we get late game, and our opponents beat in our Barkeon and Beast, and we get to summon an exterior to close them out, that is gonna be insane. Likewise, if we aren't going into Beast and Barkeon and go for things like Gaia Drake and Scrap Oxfiend, then we can have Gaia Drake the Universal Force as our powerful late game finisher. Miracle Synchro Fusion is not the best way you can build this deck, but I think it's gonna work well enough that we will have a chance of getting this off late into a game, and if we can pull that, I will be so happy. This is one of my favorite cards ever. Then we have some traps, 3 willpower, 2 compost, 2 mirror force, 1 ring, and triple solemn warning. Some absolutely nutty trap cards in this format, which is exactly what you want for backing up a slow strategy like this one. Put it all together, and that is the Amazonist deck we are going to be bringing today. I like this deck a lot. It, I don't think it's the best deck in the format by any means, but it is certainly the gayest. And you know that's what I'm here for. Let's try to resolve a Miracle Synchro Fusion and win the People's Duelist. What is going on, all you boys, girls, and enemies, all you gamers out there? It is your boy, Noah Jankigo, Noah Jank YGO, which is short for Noah Jank Yu-Gi-Oh, as you know. We are here with the debut, for me, that is, in Wave Motion Yu-Gi-Oh. That's right, I am here in place of my partner in crime in the Prog Pole series, Golden Nova. Nova is unfortunately out this week. He did come down with a case of the Ouchie Hurties, so I will be filling in for him. Uh, in true Wave Motion format, I am the closest thing next to Nova, so I'm going to be here this week in place of him. All right, boys, girls, and enemies alike, it is time for the deck profile. Let's go into what I'm bringing down to the table this week in this awesome, awesome format. Wave Motion Gaming, you already know what it is. Let's talk about what we're doing this week. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Maybe you guys are going to feel the same way when you see what we got in here. Shouts out to Double and uh, Gaston in the Noah Jank Cord for all their help with this deck list and everybody else in the stream chat as well. Uh, you guys are going to be very, very proud when you see me walk away with this fat W this week, okay? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, let's talk about it. We are doing, as you can plainly see, Infernities. Infernities is one of my favorite decks to play. Such an awesome, awesome deck. Uh, probably my comfort deck, to be honest with you. It's just a deck that I'm really, really uh, comfortable playing and piloting uh, and just really, really enjoy playing. We have a lot of great, great things here, so let's go over it from the top. Uh, we are running a small quick draw Synchron engine. We have Tuning to search out the quick draw and empty out our hand uh, get a free special and a tuner and then we have synchros to go into with quick draw like junk destroyer as well as our good friend drill warrior both very very strong cards uh it is at two which is nice but i'm only be playing one uh also at one unfortunately not at three is one of my favorite cards of all time probably my favorite fiend ever printed infernity demon aka infernity arch fiend the boy himself the main extender of this deck infernity arch fiend the ace uh i mean i i would run more if i could but unfortunately i cannot uh dark refer is here just kind of vibing he's sort of here in place of armageddon knight which we don't have access to uh stitch and street patrol i mean if you know infernities you know what this is here for banishment from the grave is cost special summon a fiend from the hand and guess what infernities are fiendarinos you already know mystic tomato is here just for sort of searching and floating uh just some ways to get more darks from the deck into the field um, and if Mr. Tomato, Tomato is destroyed, and we have this guy, Infernity Avenger, in the grave, then we can bring this boy out from the grave onto the field, which is a very nice trade-off there. Uh, not only do we get a float, we also get Avenger, do some gaming. Uh, then we have Necromancer. Uh, Necromancer, uh, another very, very strong normal summon. 
uh, in this deck. Probably the strongest normal summon in this deck, aside from, like, maybe Mirage, but that's a big maybe. Uh, it's a free Reborn. I mean, it's a 2,000 defense body. Normal summon, it immediately is put in defense position. What else can you say, right? It's it's very strong. And then to wrap up the rest of the Infernity Monsters, we have two Beetle. Uh, that's all we have access to. I would do three if I could. Uh, one Randomizer. If you've watched Prog Bowls, you already know how fond I am with this guy. And that will wrap up the Infernities. Um, the last monster in this main deck is also going to be X Saber Pashu. Uh, now, if you are a Prog Pulls watcher, you know how fond I am of this boy. He is a great stall card and an awesome way to get a level 2 tuner onto the field to do some Poggers synchro plays, which is what this era is all about. Uh, then we have our spell cards here. We have one for one to go into our level 1s uh, for Infernity Avenger. Uh, Infernity Mirage or Infernity Randomizer. The options are certainly available, so it's all going to depend on what we have available at the moment. We have zero max because fuck your field. I want my Infernities, goddammit. And that's just what I'm going to do. That's what zero max is all about, baby. We have double Rota uh, because, I mean, why would you not? It's a great way to like thin out the deck and get your searches on and get things like Dark Greffer, uh, which is an, a great card on its own right. Uh, Giant Trunade, because why would we not run Giant Trunade, right? If we have ways to bounce back spells and traps, then there's you absolutely know I'm going to be running Giant Trunade, especially when there's so many crazy back row threats available right now. Things like Solemn Warning. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, no, fuck that. Giant Trunade is absolutely going to be here and sticking around for a while. And to help the draw engine out a little bit, we have things like Card Destruction, which is great for Infernities, and Pogaroonie, you already know, Pod of Greed, the classic meme card, haha, <laughs> funny, lol, what does it do, all that good stuff. But then we have a much better pot I was talking about earlier, Pot of Duality is here uh, to do some vibing in its own right. It looks like it's ready to vibe in this card art, and it's definitely going to be doing that. We're not going to be doing a lot of like crazy special summoning uh, shit on our first turn most of the time, so having the three duality is really, really nice, just to sort of set up our field, get a card that we want, and yeah, just get ready to start playing. Um, tuning, of course, I already talked about that with a quick draw engine. We have the double foolish because we're mostly going to be foolishing shit like maybe Archfiend, uh, maybe Avenger, maybe Big Maybe, but mostly Stitch and Street Patrol. So that's definitely going to be the main card we foolish there. Uh, we have Infernity Gun, aka Infernity Launch Air uh, here. Double Launch Air there, which is very, very nice. We love the loops. We love Fruit Loops. You already know what it is. They're specifically Fruit Loops in this case because I am a gay man. Uh, anyway, let's go into the traps here. What traps are we running? We are running the classic Infernity Traps here. Here with Infernity, Inferno, uh, discard cards, and then send Infernities from deck to grave. I mean, yeah, why would we not, right? I mean, we can send things in there like Avenger for it to get a free body onto the field when a card is destroyed. We can send things in there like Archfiend. I mean, there's plenty of options there. Uh, we can have Infernity Barrier available. Uh, Infernity Barrier, another very, very strong card, um, but the very very most key thing I need to convince myself, and this is why I'm saying this, is because I need to remind myself, because I know I will probably forget. Put them in attack position. Put them in attack position. Put them in attack position. If I do not have my Infernities in attack position, I cannot resolve this card, or even properly activate it. So that's going to be a problem. Infernity Break, I mean, it's a free pop. If we banish, like, we can banish the launch here. We can banish anything for that. And then we have things like Damage Condenser and Damage Gate. I really don't mind taking damage if I have this card in hand, just because, like, things like... Damage Condenser are so, so, so good right now. Um, equal, less than or equal to the battle damage. I mean, that's pretty good in its own right. I mean, we could get Peshul out, to be totally honest with you. Uh, and Damage Gate, which is quite strong. Uh, free Reborn, I mean, what else is there to say, right? It doesn't need to be in attack position, so again, we could do something like maybe even Archfiend. Uh, I do believe that misses Timing, unfortunately, so that would not give us a special summon if we have no cards in hand. But still, there's plenty of options um, for Damage Gate, and especially Condenser. I definitely want to see Condenser. And then we have the Single Crush Card Virus, probably one of the strongest cards ever printed, and of course it is pre errata Crush Card Virus, uh, fuck your draws. I'm going to see what they are, and I'm going to destroy any monsters that seem like they might be strong. Get out of here. I'm going to tribute things like like Mirage, I'll tribute things like, like, like Avenger, and no, fuck your draws. They're gone. No, bad draws. Uh, Crush Card Virus, I mean, yeah, why would you not run it, right? Why would you not run it? 
And now we have the extra deck. Uh, the extra deck is just going to be Synchros here because why would it not? Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. We have Formula Synchron here, which is very possible to go into. Uh, I mean, when it's Synchro, we get a free draw and it's a Synchro summon on the opponent's turn, right? Like, why would you not play Formula Synchron? Uh, then we have plenty of other Synchros like Wayne. Why is Wayne here? Because it can climb into Hyunlei. Hyunlei is very, very poggers because it is a spell and trap pop. And that is exactly what we want to see. Drill Warrior, and where is the other boy? Junk Destroyer are really just here uh, because Quick Draw Synchron exists. Uh, Gaia Knight, again, just kind of one of those cards we can Synchro Climb with to go into things like maybe Archfiend if we need a body, or probably more so things like Stardust Dragon, uh, or even Scrap Dragon, which I mentioned earlier, and Red Dragon Archfiend. Red Dragon Archfiend, of course, is going to be here primarily to Synchro Climb into Red Nova Dragon. If we can get the two tuners we need for that, then you goddamn know we're going into it. Uh, Infernity Doom Dragon, a very, very cool card for infernities uh one of my favorite designs to be honest i think it's think it's so weird and bizarre looking i'm really looking forward to playing that and hopefully summoning it at least once to be totally honest with you i would really enjoy doing that hint hint let me summon it opponents damn you uh then we have hundred eyes dragon uh one of my favorite cards from uh 5d's anime uh anytime it was summoned was always in a hype ass duel um and it's just a sick ass card man uh banish a level six or lower dark and gain its effect are you kidding me yeah, i absolutely want to do there's so many cool darks i'll have in my grave so absolutely uh then of course we have trish the dish uh i'm would love to be going into this card uh at least once uh because i Love Trishula. Trishula is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Trishula, for all you've done for us. Bless you, Trishula. Bless you. And, of course, like I said earlier, Red Nova Dragon. It's fucking Red Nova Dragon. I mean, it's just a big old boss with a cool-ass effect. So that's going to be the deck profile. The soul is burning. And just like my boy Kiryu Kyosuke, a.k.a. Callan Kessler, I'm feeling satisfied. Team satisfaction, baby. You already know what it is. I will see you guys in just a second as we get into the main event, The Duel. Also, that, hi, I'm, I'm Golden Nova. Nice to meet you guys, Chad. Uh, yeah, everybody welcome to the chat, Silver Nova Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, That's me. Also, also known as Noah Jank, our guest feature for the evening. Uh, in case you didn't know, uh, Nova has come down with the nastiest case of the flu I think I've heard of since uh, 1914 and is not going to be able to join us tonight. But Noah Jank jumped in and I hear I hear you and your chat came up with a pretty spicy deck. It's true. Um, pretty spicy. I'm excited to try it out uh, and see uh, what is going to go down. Um, I'm I'm gonna be honest, I'm like low key nervous, but I'm pretty excited to be part of this. So thank you for giving me the opportunity. I appreciate your being here, and there is no way you could be either like worse on camera or be running a worse or... deck than any of the rest of us. So <laughs> yeah, okay, true, true. <laughs> All right, you better not be playing a worse deck than me. I'll be offended. I'm I playing a worse a deck than you, so. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> so tonight's brackets, our brackets are finally resetting. After like every single time since episode two, I've said that the brackets are finally resetting. So I am going to be up against Noah Jank. And oh, Sophie shit. will be up against Keegan. Oh. Don't tell me that. Keegan's scary. He's good at Yu-Gi-Oh. What the fuck? This week was right. tough. I'm not going to lie. Hardpool was kind of kind of all over the place yeah. it definitely it was uh but there's some there's some crazy things and some pretty exciting things uh and i'm excited to play my deck even if i'm like guaranteed to lose with it okay so i've got a quick you question i've got a quick question okay are are we playing with first turn draw this week we will not be playing with first turn draw this week we're still playing with priority but not with first turn draw okay so this is a okay. this is a change we've We've implemented since the last, uh, the last iteration because because going first was too powerful. More That's or less, true. Right? That is exactly correct. So this week we have decided that in a best of one format, having a person go first and get to draw a card is too ridiculous. In a best of three situation, you get the chance to even things out, but not so in a best of one. So we are not doing first turn draw anymore. This is Who's going up first tonight? Sorry, Who's I'm up, dealing up to that. <laughs> I'm dealing with Grappa Dragonlord in a DB, 
whose match note, whose dual note is <laughs> September 11th p.m. if interested. <laughs> what? The, do, I, I, I might go p.m. that guy. I'm interested. <laughs> I, I am also interested, I must what say. What could they mean by this? Well, I'm not going to find out on chat. What do they mean by this? What do uh, they mean by this? Let's see. So, when it was me versus Nova, the two of us were going first. So, Sophie and Keegan, would you like to play our first round today? I'm down. Let's do it. Ah, oh, I would let's not. Let's go. All right, chat. Just to let you know one more time, tonight's brackets is me versus our special guest tonight, Noah Jank, and oh, Keegan gosh. versus Sophie. Keegan and Sophie, GLHF. Keep so going. Oh shit! I've been defeated. No. Yeah, you press one put... for Sophie. Press two for Keegan. You should have known, Sophie, that scissors lose against a key and a gun. I could have known. It's simple logic. Oh! Oh! Let's go. We're gonna oh, we're gonna Christ. get a search here. I believe the best thing to search in this format is the bird. Yeah, is that not the yeah, only target for Gen X That's Neutron? a good search. That's a good search. Uh, there's more targets. There's Karakuri tunas. Um, but you don't really want oh. those in hand. So there are. I thought it was exclusively dark machine tuners. This is what I get when it comes to reading cards. Reading. I was like, yeah, Gen X Neutron is the best non-tuner besides mocking a gear frame in the machine deck. I was, uh, 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 but I can't run it because its only target is Birdman. Turns out that's not the case. Man, All 800 right. attack too. That's annoying. All right, back to the game. Um, so Keegan, that was a pretty exciting tone one. You know, you summoned a guy, added a card. Um, I'm gonna start off doing something a little similar here. You know, oh, I'm gonna there add it is. My hand. That works. We're um, pogging. Can we get some pogs in chat? Any poggers? Any poggers? <laughs> I draw oh, a double so pot. Double pot. So many yeah. pots. I'm potting around here. Oh, and we are on the, the Amazonuses. It's woman o'clock. It is woman o'clock. This deck goes out to all the lesbians in Twitch chat. This one's for you. I lesbians know there are press a lot one. Of you. Any lesbians? Yeah, lesbian. Sound off. Sound off, uh, lesbian. This is for you. Off. Do you mind if I read that card real quick, actually? Yeah. I've never seen um, this card in my life. Well, it's yeah, like part of, yeah, of duality it. is very rarely but played. Was. I understand having to read that, yeah. All right. Select one Amazonist monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Okay. That's all good. Nice little, nice little reanimation. Yeah, yeah. We got some stuff going on here. Um, trying to think. What can you, what can you do next turn? You can go Birdman. You can make a seven, but every seven in the format is bad. That's not true because you can make Bure because you're on machines. So that card is good. Hmm. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gonna set a monster. I'm gonna set three back row behind it. Christ. And we're gonna pass. Ah oh, oh, yes, the no heavy storm life. Anyway, Trunid. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna I believe this is a complicated moment, actually. I'm sure. Yeah, Three there's a lot going on. on. Deceptively, a lot going on. One you know, of those cards is happening. the willpower. One of those no. cards is a solemn warning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why would it be? No, We're gonna that. normal summon Scrap Beast. Is that good? Whoa! That summon is fine. It's the Revengeance Dog. Okay. Fascinating. That is a very cool dog. We'll make a Scrap Scrap well, Dragon. There he um, is. Yeah. Now, sorry, mm. I was just gonna ask. Are we doing priority rulings? Yes, because this we is two thousand. But. I do there need are, to think. There are so, solemn warnings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, of course, of course, of course. Um. Yeah, and I'm, I think I do need to fire it here. I do have it. It's not great. Okay, it's I'm gonna Scrap Dragon. Because yeah, that bit still floats. Such a goddamn good card. It's a banger. All right. Let's attack. Hiya. <laughs> well, it's my Amazonist trainee. She's dead. 
Farewell, trainee. For now, for now, gotta worry about that. Willpower. All right. Will that power. you do. Oh. Mm. Oh. I respect, I respect the 07s oh. in the chat for the dead Amazonist trainee. Thank you, Shred. That is such an interesting draw. But I don't think it does much of anything yet. All right. This may come as a shock to you, but one of my set cards is Amazonist Will Power. What? No, I had no idea. That's well, surprising, actually. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh my god, the Soph Moki is giving... Giving Amazon as trainee the salute. Mokis support the woman. I really do like the trans Moki. That's quite a good emote. Thank you, thank you. Yes. I, I worked hard on it. I can tell. And then I'm gonna normal summon the Tuna Monster. Saber Pajul. Let's go! <laughs> yes, my boy. And I am now going to conduct That's a level good, six yeah. synchro summon. And there is actually a little consideration here. Uh, no, that's not. I'm making Baki on. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's true, and that's true, and that's true, and that's pretty true. Alright, go, Baki on. Commit an act of violence. Goodbye, my beast. Yeah, I guess willpower I'll does stay on the field, doesn't life. it? It stays on the field. It does indeed. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Come Empowering on. Sophie's inevitable scrap dragon. Okay. Emperor Stove has a crucial well, question. Is Pashul a woman or just an ally to the lesbians? That is a good question, you know? It's hard to say. What it's do you really think the L in Pashul stands for? Come on. Huh. Pashul lesbian. Yeah, Pashul lesbian. Yeah, I don't see the issue exactly. here. I don't know if I'm qualified yeah, to comment. Yeah, she's pre-op, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go special summon Cyber Dragon. That's How a good one. Feel about that's, this? that's good. I mean, I don't feel great about it, but like, I don't have much to do. I suppose that is the case. We're gonna normal summon Scrap kind of. Oh, oh Jesus! God. This is, uh, is this is the a problem. Yeah. Christ Almighty! That Machine is pretty scraps. good. At this Scraps moment so in time, fun. we we gotta take a take a moment to think. I'm sorry, I've got got a few complex decisions here. Yeah, and it's so fine. Thinking is hard. You know, Keegan, I was choosing between a machine synchro deck and a scrap deck when I loaded in tonight, and I uh, I'm glad to see you representing both of them. Honestly, I couldn't choose, so I just decided to pick the best cards out of both and hope for the best. Legitly uh, understandable. We can make something happen here. I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to activate Gen X ally Birdman. Okay. Oh god, I'm Birdman. That's so good. Primarily. Oh my god, this it is begins. so really good, good here. Holy shit. It begins. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got some options, we got some options. I'm not sure what the best option is. You know, you wouldn't have to think so much if you stopped doing all these combos and just like set some trap cards. That sounds like a good idea to Yeah, me. some trap cards into the bunk yeah. beyond, that'd be No, 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 that sounds I wish I would have had some trap cards. <laughs> Before the bunk was summoned, but you know, hey, here we are. Here we are. What does this guy do when he's destroyed? If this card is destroyed by the effect of a scrap card, you can target one scrap monster in your graveyard, except scrap beast, add it to your hand. It's not very good. It's not very good at all. We're just gonna make scrap twin dragon. That's Whoa. not bad. Yeah. Scrap twin is solid. I'm gonna use the effect with priority. I'm gonna target Birdman, I'm gonna target your set card, and I'm gonna target your Barkeon. Yeah, tragically, that is fine. That's... that's a nuts, that's... that's big. Yeah, you know, putting it back to extra is Goodbye, very bro. annoying. Jesus, Let's 3K. go 3,000 direct. Owie, wowie. 
Crucially, Scrap Twin Dragon is ridiculous against Sophie's deck exactly because it's so hard to beat by battle. Uh, that effect is once per turn. It's not on summon. Ugh. Yes, it is. God. Um. Are you fucking kidding me? That's tragic I, to hear. I almost have the out, but this card sucks ass. What the fuck? True. <laughs> that's a mood. Yeah, that's a mood, I actually. I wish I the card. Alright. This is rough for me. The way this works out. If I do that, I can do that, and that does that. And then I lose the fucking game. So All true. Right. I literally have one play available here. And the play available is set one, set one, two, three, and hope to God you hit the wrong back row. <laughs> <laughs> we gambling tonight! Terrifying. Actually, I'll probably lose anyway, huh? Right. You can make a scrap dragon too and pop them all. Well, I can pop three cards. Yeah. Uh, Sophie I'm baiting Deacon into playing four. into Royal Oppression. Yeah, 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 that's the plan. It's a rough one for me. Alright. Here's what we're gonna try. We're gonna try set. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna activate Scrap Twin Dragon. I'm gonna target my back row and the two sets you have closest to your deck in the back row. Do you have a response? I do not. I'm gonna chain Crush Card Virus. Oh my Son god. Of what? A Crazy. Holy shit. And I'm, yeah, I, I'm, literally, I'm, I'm literally just gonna concede now. Jesus, Jesus Lord. My god. Keegan God, is there anything scarier than Keegan in a format with cards he understands? That was cool. Bad. What? We literally are playing everything in this deck. Machine, scrap, crush card. Yes. It's a yes, pretty we wild are. one. Not to leak too much, but the Neutron, he's a key, key factor to all of this. Ooh. He's the That's key. A... I wanted to say, <laughs> before we fully move off of this, one of the cards I had in hand was a brain control. Hell yeah. Right? So my plan was oh. take scrap win, attack, pop itself. But it doesn't say up to two. Yep. It can only target opponent's cards, and it has to be exactly two. So I cannot legally activate it if I do that. Rip. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and there's a reason. There's a reason I only set one card. Damn it. That. That Stop thinking, you get brain control. Stop I'd like to direct. Brain. Okay, Nova on that wonderful. I keep saying this. Nova. Noah. I can't can believe you've done that. Hello, everybody. It's Golden I'm Nova. I'm just calling here. every. Uh, last week it was me calling Nova Keegan. Now it's me calling you Nova. I will say that had there been first turn draw, I would have come with the most disgusting deck that I have ever built. Alas. Oh God! Without first turn draw, it was not it was not consistent enough. Alas. Did you find right. some kind of FTK? Okay. Jankers, press one if you An believe. FTK. Slowly over the course of thirty five turns, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I that I don't like to hear. All right. Noah Jank, are you ready? I was born ready, motherfucker. Hey, oh, call geez, back to the, <laughs> to the stream where we got the set. Keegan made that exact same reference the last time I did this. Okay. Incredible. You're on rescue cat sleeves with treeborn icon. Oh, yeah. Mostly to mess I'm with Noah. Okay, this is what I'm feeling. Ah, I've been owned. I should have known the cat has claws. Those are scissors. Who's it's going so first, true. Noah? I am going first, bestie. All right, okay. let's do this thing. Yo, 43 cards. It's optimal. Oh, it this is. hand fucking slaps. Holy shit. So true. All right, we're going to go standby, ready. Memphis. Uh-huh. All right, we're going to activate duality off the top. Yep. Chain All maxi. Right. <laughs> no, three, one, two, three. The master dual special. 
Uh, we okay, all right. What's a lot going on here? <laughs> There's a lot we to are gonna Add Paschal. Okay. That's a lot going on in these three cards. Top of the deck. Top of the deck. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Into the grave you go, my friend. Okay. Um. Now we are going to have some fun. We are going to set. Mm -hmm. Set. Mm -hmm. oh, let's go. Set. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is it? Hey, there you go. Thank you, Dolny Book. And then I am going to. Going to set. Okay. And pass. All right. Let's begin. Oh, there's um, so much good shit in this hand, which you are about to hit me with dust shoot, aren't you? Oh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not dust shoot, but on draw. Uh, okay. I am going to uh, activate Infernity Inferno. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and discard Archfiend. And then I'm going to send the same number of Infernity cards from my deck to the grave. Okay. Uh, what's that not? What's that not? Okay. All right. I'm going to send... Uh, I will send the funny guy. I'll send the beetle. Bog. I didn't hmm. realize Infernity Archfiend was legal. All right. It is at, it's at one. Main phase one. Huh. Main phase one is true. What are we going to do with this? Hmm. Infernity Archfiend. There isn't a way for me to start with the funny thing, is there? No, there isn't. Okay. Why is Archfiend legal? We are going to set a monster. That's a good call. We're going to set two macro. Christ alive. Uh-huh. It's it, you know, we're we're getting real today. True. And I think we are going to pass here. Okay, on in phase, we're gonna activate Infernity Break. Oh my god. Okay. We are going to banish Inferno. Uh mm -hmm. it is a card, and we're gonna target the scale. Uh it is Ring of Destruction. Well played. Yeah. That is a you good hit. It. Thank you, Bestie. Alright, we will draw. Okay, interesting draw. Uh, anything on standby? Nothing in standby. All right, we will go to main phase arena. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do I want to operate this? Um. Okay. Dooby dooby doo. I think what I'm going to do here is, yes, yeah, screw it. Activate card destruction. Okay, all right, that works for me. Uh, I will discard a creature swap, and then I will reveal my deck to those who don't know by discarding Key Mouse and Lock Cat. Christ alive. All right, oh, now I'm going to draw, draw three one cards. Card. I will draw one. Oh, this is a pretty good set of three draws. Not going to lie to you. I might lie to you. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay, there's that. Oh, I don't like seeing the ooze in the chat. That makes me unhappy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, okay, I think my option here is set this over here. Okay. In face. Okay. Pass. Draw for turn. Sure. I'm gonna start off with my Every good time friend. Every I see Infernity break, I imagine them break dancing. All the Infernities. <laughs> Pretty big. All the Infernities break oh dancing. God. Who do you think is the best break they dancer? Should be. Yeah. I think it's and probably the Avenger dancer? because he's got a. Yeah, have you yeah. seen Avenger? Like, look at that dude. Also, no, this is a uh, Golden Nova uh, dueling right now. True. Yeah. Hey Nova, how's it going? Nothing uh, much. Just working on my uh, Junk Warrior. <coughs> junk Warrior explained. Sorry, I'm I, I, I smoke. I'm a heavy smoker now. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. What were you saying, Keegan? Who do you think is the best break dancer in the Infernities? <laughs> Probably Infernity Beetle because of his rounded back. Oh, oh really good. That's true. that's true. Yeah. Incredible. Okay. Anyway, with that aside, I'm going to activate Potter Green. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. I see. I now understand <laughs> the ooze. Uh, ooh. ooh hmm. Mm. Okay. Uh, what can I do with this? Jack shit, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, he, he's only up, what, five cards on you, Noah? Hmm. I'm sure yeah, he doesn't have any. Well, really, it's Infernity. What's five, you know? Let's flip summon 
my good friend, Hana, Hana. Super Nimble Mega Hamster. Oh, you're the doing the, yeah. Effect. Okay, okay. <laughs> All uh, right, respectable. And we are going to grab a key mouse from deck. Oh, key mouse. And then, hmm, hmm. Adorable. I am it- going to now realize that I am not holding the card I think I'm holding because I discarded it off of off of card destruction. Unfortunately, Key Mouse is face down, so there is not an Achuria beast in your immediate future. Um, is there another beast in your immediate future, though? This is the real question. Face down defense position. Yes, this is this is true. Sure, we might as well get this card out of the way for now. I'm going to normal summon the fabled Pegasus. This is a fun tool (laughs) that will help us for later. Uh, And I am going to synchro into another beast monster in Thunder Unicorn. (laughs) Let's go. Whoa. This is so so sick. This is very cool. I am going to attack but, into your newest monster with Unicorn. You will do that. It is my beetle. Ooh, okay. Uh, main phase two, I am going to set a singular back row and a second dealer back row. Mm, don't like that. And I will pass the turn. Right, before we get too much farther, I will be the one to say it. They really named this card the Favored Pegging Sus. That's yeah, that's crazy. pretty. <laughs> that's pretty amogus. All right. Um, anything on standby? Uh, it, n- no. All right. She we'll fabled on my, on my peg until I was sus. That's so true. Uh, I win. Let's see. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set this guy over here. Okay. And we will move to end phase. Uh, hmm. Are there any back row that I like actually care about in your deck? Oh, Not particularly. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do, we'll go to the next turn. Hmm. Alrighty. Draw for turn. RJ is unafraid. Main phase one. So I know that that's the goddamn pasual face down. And there's basically nothing I can do about that fact. So I might as well make you take a thousand damage per turn about it. That's so true. Uh, so I'm going to flip it. Uh, Whoa, it's going to pull up. It's crazy. Eight oh. turn clock. And I will... Uh, Eight turn clock. Pass the turn on that. Alrighty, we will draw. It occurs to me uh, that my deck may be minorly ill-equipped to deal with monsters that can't be destroyed by battle. <laughs> uh, who knows? Uh, we'll go standby. Okay. And uh, go to main phase. Okay. We will uh, attempt to activate Pot of Greed. I think you have yeah. to take a thousand damage. Oh, you do have uh, to. No, take it is during battle. his oh, it's my standby. standby. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah you can have okay, that. Okay, Wish that I had Naturia Beast for this, but go off. Okay, okay. we'll draw two. Oh, that's not bad. Oh. All right, let's see. What's the best way to go about this? I take damage during your opponent's standby phases. That's so strange. Eh, you know. I uh, think it's to make it me. so it doesn't, like, punish you for setting it for a turn. So, so that, like, if you try to sit on it longer, you start taking a thousand. Yeah. Nova and I learned yeah, this during uh, progression polls. Don't worry. Um, okay, so we're going to activate, <sighs> uh, attempt, to attempt to activate Inferno D Inferno. Uh, Isn't it? that's fine. Not really much I can. Uh, yeah, that's a okay. Okay, we will be discarding uh, Avenger, and we will be milling. Uh, we'll mill the uh, randomizer. Let me use mill rando. Oh, oh let's go! <laughs> the best infernity. So true. Uh. Literally so true. Okay, um, we are going to normal summon uh, Mirage. Oh, that is summon okay. A pretty fucking good card. Yeah, the summon is okay. All right, we're going to um, activate its effect with priority, uh, tributing as cost. Yeah, but this and... is not okay. Ah, uh, that is understandable. This is true. This is true. Take yeah. two thousand. You, you, you big dingus. All right. Um, let's see. I have done that. Yes, you have. 
Okay. This presents an issue then. Do but that's fine. All right, we'll pass. Type synchros have piercing. They didn't give a single monster in my beast lineup that has piercing. How could they? <gasps> we'll take 1k on standby. That's a pretty good draw. I am not going to lie. I am going to normal summon my good friend Rescue Cat. Ah, yes. My favorite. I and love Rescue Cat. We are going so to much. declare Amen. Rescue Cat, sending it to the graveyard. And we are going to summon, uh, of course, the best card in my deck, Lock Cat. And the second best card in my deck, Elephon. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a pretty fun oh, Elephon. That's hype. And we're going to Synchro for five. Oh, Not yeah. Nat Beast. Uh, for Nachuria Beast. <laughs> Nat Beast Gaming. Uh, yeah, you're go. All right. We'll draw. Um, we will go into standby phase. Okay. Uh, go into the main phase. Mm -hmm. Thinking. That's my best way to go about this right now. <laughs> Who could say, really? Um, all right, yeah. We're going to uh, set pass. Okay. Draw for turn. Oh, that's a pretty we'll good card. We're going to... We're going to activate Pot of Duality. <laughs> Go for it. And you use the cool macro on the top of it. There's the boy. Okay, well, now I have hard. a choice to make about yeah, you this. Yeah, you got a damn <laughs> choice to make here, my friend. Uh, unfortunately, there's a super obvious answer to this choice, which is to get Scrap Beast. Yeah. Sad, sad, sad times, indeed. Let's uh, go. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure the play was to take Dark Hall and activate it to kill Patchwall and then chain Nat Beast to negate it so your Nat Beast doesn't die. Yo, that's exactly how that interaction works. I'm so glad we know these things. I'm going to normal summon myself a Scrap Beast. Hello. Uh, and I'm going to go to... Uh, there isn't like a morphing jar in here, is there? Yeah, may or may not be one copy of Cyberjaw in the format. <laughs> Morbing jar... Shout out Morbius. If it's Cyber Jar. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, no, I'm I, I'm not afraid. Uh we're going to attack with Thunder Unicorn. Uh sadly it is not Cyber Jar, it's just my Avenger. Okay. Um, and I uh, wish I cannot proc Avenger in the grave with, unfortunately. Unfortunate. Alright, we'll pass the turn. Alright, we will go to standby. Okay. Uh okay, main phase. I don't want to handle this. What is in my grave? Yeah, the Nat Beast is very annoying, um, but reasonable. Um, we are... What is my best option here? Oh, Emperor Stove is right. Cybertar is terrible in Infernity because it gives you cards in your hand. That's true. All right, I think my best option here is Set Pass. Okay. Uh, during the end phase, I am going to MST. <sighs> Uh, that is fair. Uh, there goes my foolish burial. All right. And the time is here. <laughs> Not much I could have. Yeah, well, yeah. We are going to uselessly reveal the best card, the real best card in my deck, Hypnocorn. <laughs> the boy. And we are going to synchro summon for a card I wouldn't under any other circumstances. Scrap Dragon. Who am I kidding? This is like one of my favorite cards in the game. Let's activate Scrap Dragon. We We're going to target my face down monster and your Pashul. Unfortunate. Yeah, I pretty much just die here. So. You do indeed yeah. pretty much just die here. So we're going to go to battle phase. We're going to attack in with Scrap Dragon and we will attack in with Naturia Beasts for game. This is fair. This is, this oh, is hey, fair. We'll get in there. We'll get in there. Yeah, I'm we'll trying to eventually. go down one by one. Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> Hold on, just give me a second real quick. Okay, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Like, okay, we're not going into the side deck. No, I no, fuck everybody. No. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, no. Every episode, we delve into some of the most fascinating subjects known to humankind. Uh, and on that note of the most fascinating subjects known to humankind, it's time for Noah Jenks and Sophie's decks to face up against each other. Uh, with Noah Jenks and Sophie presumably attached. Uh, for our losers finals. Eh. 
Atoru so, following me to different streams. Oh, no, sad times. You guys are unfollowed in the stream right now. If you follow within the next five minutes, Noah Jank has personally promised you seven million dollars each. Go ahead and hit follow. Yeah. Keegan yeah. tries to pimp us out in literally oh, every wow. single one of these. Just for those of you oh, on YouTube one. who don't, oh, know. don't know. I don't know about that one. Uh, okay, so, so we'll go uh, main phase. Okay. Uh, what mean I man? like how I'm saying well, I'm okay, like I'm yeah, <laughs> It's me, Audley the Jank Monarch. I love All right. Shane Beat, guys. I'm, that's my I am Golden thing. Nova, and I'm going to activate right. reinforcement of the army. Oh, classic Golden it. Nova move. It would be a classic true classic Golden, Golden Nova, Nova move if you Dude, were literally a every monster. Sunday when we record for Prog Poles, I'm like, hey, Nova, how's it going? He's like, activate Rota, and I'm like, <laughs> god damn it. Uh, anyway, you I'm say gonna... as if you don't also activate Rota every single Prog Poles. I do activate a lot of lots of rotas. I do activate many a rota. Uh, we are going to add. Uh, it's like Tool a what? Tool what? We're gonna, no, we're gonna add the randomizer actually. Hell yeah! Oh, poggers, tech plays. Thank you for the raid. Welcome to the stream, Kevin Joseph. Thank you for the follow. How's it going, Raiders? We're That's... playing some Wave Motion Yu-Gi-Oh tonight. That's... Welcome in. Welcome in, new viewers. Remember, if everyone who hits the next. Five minutes follow button. I, I aborted that terribly. No, nah, Jake, giving great. you a million dollars. Ten yeah, million dollars each. Absolutely true. Uh, whisper, true. whisper to Noah Jake on Twitch if you follow in the next thirty seconds. And your go. Oh, uh, a bit of a slow start. Yeah, Sophie, you know, your yeah. misspelling of uh, Keegan's name earlier in this has turned um, out prophetic because we saw a key from my deck and now we have seen a gun from Noah's. So true. Is Infernity right. Randomizer a gun in the in the ECG uh, It's like a two-sided gun, yeah. It's like a weird no, no, looking no. gun. This is the funniest shit. In the TCG, they censor it into like a weird fucking like cartoon laser gun looking contraption. And I remember this because in the anime, they put that that it did that by putting a 3D animation laser gun over the 2D randomizer. And it looks horrible. <laughs> it's amazing. Sounds based on the problem is. Yeah. Um, it, anyway, I opened part of 3 twice. Uh, base, oh, go ahead and next there we go. That. How do you feel about that? How are you feeling? Uh, greedy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I also opened part of Duality twice. So A much lot. pot this episode. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> Hey. Hello, Plague Spreader. Yeah. Is that a Snoop Dogg a reference you just made, Noah? Just like off the cuff? I mean, I mean, I just heard pot and I was like, eh, might as well go for it. But yes, oh, thank double G. Well My done. Snoop Dogg! I'd argue um, the, the TCG artwork of Infinity Randomizer is more lewd than the. That's an oh, insane that's reach, one. but I appreciate it. <laughs> that's also what chat's saying. So I, yeah. you know, this is the environment we've cultivated here on Red Ocean Yu-Gi-Oh. Wonderful. Bit, yeah, just wonderful. Right. First. I'm gonna normal summon Amazonist trainee. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. Um, and I'm gonna go to the battle phase. And uh, end of main. End of main. Ah. End of main. I'm going to activate Crush Card Virus. Uh, tributing Noah. my infinity mirage. Oh. Oh. Noah, what did I do to deserve this? Oh, uh, gaming moment. Um, so I am just going to actually... Here, tell me what. I'll, I'll just, like, put my entire hand out here so you all can see it. It's pretty good. Um, except That's... now I don't have any monsters. Oh. Except now I have zero monsters. <laughs> it's true. Oh. Sad um, times. And that is going to be, uh, I believe, so this is pre-errata. So um, that's going to be the first turn. Yeah. Gosh. So I'm going to keep track on the side here, if you guys don't yeah. mind. Oh, I'm trying, the pro strat is to put the crush card in the extra monster zone and put counters on it. That's actually a good Yo. point. That's the game of maneuver. Yeah, I do at least have ways to get to monsters with duality and rota, but it's not pretty. God, I also can't believe Noah started this duel out by murdering three lesbians. Yeah, you know, I'm just... Gaming going on. I'm sorry, you know what, you're right. My, uh, 
I'm just so, I'm, I, it's not right to do that. I may so. lose the duel, but at least I'm not going to be the one getting canceled. <laughs> True. Uh, okay, we'll go to main phase. <laughs> wow, uh, anyway, work. activate right. giant trunid. Oh, big turn. Big oh, come turn. on, not like this. You don't oh, have to do it like this. Oh, yeah, you know. Uh, okay, we are going to ooh, activate a launcher. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, pretty it's not solid. Hit. Did he hit the one arch fiend again in 43? I fucking wish. Uh, let's see. Okay, how do I want to handle this? Blah, 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 blah. I cannot special the Mirage, which is a sad time, unfortunately. Um, but do you have other options? And one of those options is I'm going to go ahead and uh, normal summon Stygian Street Patrol. Let's go. Fascinating. Yes, sir, okay. Very much so. Uh, then we're going to activate uh, Effect of Launch here. Uh, we are going okay. to discard the Randomizer. All right. Oh, let's so, go. We randomize. We're going to activate, activate the Effect of Launch here, targeting Randomizer. All right. And okay. we're simply going to draw the Arch Fiend here. That's crazy. That'd, that'd be poggers as heck. Uh, anyway, we are going to uh, activate the Effect of Randomizer. Mm -hmm. We're going to see what we draw here. <laughs> Well, it's not what I would say, <gasps> but it is Necromancer, so. That's ah. not bad. That's, That's okay. not bad. So you're going to take, I believe, uh, yes, 600, 600. Yeah, Arching will miss timing it anyway, as Double says in chat. Thank you. Um, okay, Ooh. so not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, so we're going to go into battle phase mm -hmm. and hit you for, I believe this is 25. Yeah, I want to, I'll take it all. I don't need yeah. those life points. hi -ya. Uh, we're gonna make two, and we will pass Aroni and cheese. Let's hey, how's get it going, political, Coffee, guys? Let's get political. What are your opinions on the current state of the police in the United? States? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get political. Let's talk about Stygian Street Patrol real quick. <laughs> so uh, remember, I'm... kid, you say Fudo says a cab. <laughs> He you does. say Fudo says a lot of things. I I got so many comments on the Sealed Showdown episode about cybernetic revolution about the fact that I pulled uh, Patroid and I said I wasn't going to play Patroid because Patroid <laughs> is a cop. <laughs> but really, That's Patroid awesome. is just a terrible card. <laughs> <laughs> but Bro, so many comments were like, RJ, why don't you play cops, RJ? RJ, why don't you play cops? It was so on, funny. Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong, huh? Incredible. But yes, Not Wobbler is correct in the chat. Crow Hogan becomes a cop, so you know that they suck. This is true for Crow Hogan. Oh. Worse. I hate, fucking hate Crow Hogan. No, Crow Hogan haters sound off. Fuck Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Odd sorry to if you're in the chat. Anyway. Duality. Duality. Oh, oh, that bad. Oh, hello, Gub. They're actually like a little bad, but not that bad. How's it going, Gub? See, duality is um, cool because it dodges the virus. It does. It does Ooh. not draw. Boop. We're actually taking past on here. The Quayo says RJ has numerous DUIs. Is this is this true? Or is this that sounds RJ good. slander? It sounds like RJ slander. Uh <laughs> It, 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 it is slander. Uh, I'm not really sure hmm. what I'm supposed to do to substantiate that, but... Hmm. Okay, all right, we will draw. Uh, You'll never guess what I just said. Eh, it could be anything. All right, we'll go to main phase. Yeah. I love how Whoa. defeated Noah sounds, that. saying it could be anything, knowing that Pashul Wait. was just going to sit there. Yeah, Pashul, I mean, hey, he's good, man. He's good. Um, now, the question is, can you ever uh, find gonna... a tuna monster? Uh, maybe. Uh, we'll go to we'll normal necromancer here. And yeah. uh, summon okay. Uh, yeah, summon's fine. You can I put will... that bad boy in defense. I you can put it in defense all you want. And we'll do that. Uh, we are going to uh, declare effect of Rando. Yeah. All right, what do we draw? We drew uh, the Archfiend. Son of a bitch. Unfortunately, it misses timing. It, misses it does timing. miss timing, but you do lose 800, which is fine. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! It's funny, funny gaming, funny gaming Ow. moments. 
Um, we'll go to proceed to Battle Phase Arena. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna try to flip it. Wow, that's right. crazy! Whoa, wow. who had it? Uh, How's it, going? I, it, it? I had no clue. How's it going? All mm -hmm. right, we are going to no, uh, proceed to Main Tail. Yeah. Okay. Um, check my grave again and pass. Sure, I'll draw for a turn. I believe this is the last turn on Crush Card. It is the last turn. Uh, does Pashul? Does, how does that work? Doesn't check Pashul. It only okay. checks no. the cards in play on the moment of activation. Okay. Then it yeah. only checks cards drawn after the next Understandable. Turn. All right, what did yeah. you draw, friend? I drew, you know, I have such good news for you all. It turns out one of the lesbians actually did survive the accident. He's gonna be coming back soon, don't you want? Hell that yeah! power of willpower. Oh, she's coming back for revenge. Oh, she is coming back for revenge. Stand by, main. Okie doke. I am going to activate the magic card, right. Reinforcement of the Army. Is that okay? Hell yeah. Oh, well. Keegan, I literally Whoop. suck dick, bro. I don't know how to make this any more obvious uh, than, than it already is. Anyway, everyone shut up about politics. I'm summoning a woman with gigantic titties. Hell yeah, that's something I'm not attracted to it due to the fact that I'm a gay man, but that's fine. America. America. I'm gonna conduct a synchro summon. The titties what? are gone. I'm so sorry to tell you all this. Um, in their place, I have a cool dragon, though. You know, Hell yeah. that's pretty good. Okay, shout out to all the asexuals in chat who are getting their treat for the episode. The cool looking <laughs> dragon. Hmm. Uh, is summon okay? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, summon's fine. Yeah, that's pretty base and pogos and red pilled and splendiferous. Um, I'm gonna um murder. Um, I, I'm I'm murder. Uh, yes, you are. Uh, it is going to go to the grave. Farewell. Um, main phase two. I'm set, and then I'm pass. Okay. Uh, we will draw. Okay, interesting. Okay, we'll stand by. Yeah. And main phase. All right. How are we gonna do this? Uh, well, first things first. We're gonna activate <sighs> foolish burial. Um, foolish is fine. Uh, we are going to send blah blah blah. Stygian Street Patrol. Oh, that is so good. Uh, anything yeah. on rest? Yeah, I was trying not to put the street patrol in grave, but looks like you got there anyway. That's fine. That was a crazy okay. series of draws. I'm gonna be real. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, we are going to banish Stitch and Street Patrol for cost. Thinking on activation. That's fine. I literally think I have to warning this. Okay, yeah, like, I think you get so. into Ultrafiend, it's so bad. Yeah, understandable. Uh, okay, so, uh, we are going you? to, I think what I'm going to do is put Stage and Street Patrol in defense, put Randomizer in defense, uh, normal summon Archfiend, is summon okay? Summon's fine. Uh, we're going to declare effect of Rando. Um, sure. Okay, uh, draw. And, wow, I, my luck is pretty good with this, you're going to take 400. Now we oh. not, that actually matters too, because now I can't warning again. Noah has oh gosh, located so huge. a tuner. Tuner located. Um we that are going scary. to uh proceed to Enfis. Yeah. yeah. Pass turn. Okay, do you know which synchros are available for this Infernity deck in this format? I didn't quite good look ones. into it. All the good ones? Yeah, all the good ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dragon is at three, Doom Dragon is at three, and Hundred Eyes Dragon is at one. Yeah, the weird thing is that, What's like, it? levels fives and sixes are pretty bad, but if you can get to level eight, all the good level eights are here. All the heroes are here. Da -da 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 anyway. Um, okay, I don't think the battle. Yeah, you're how I'm feeling, yes. I do my best. Do my All best. Right, so, I'm always activating Foolish Burial. So the little I'm, bit always, I'm always letting it resolve. I'm always yeah. saying that. I'm always saying activation's fine. No, Alright, you know what? 
How the fuck do you win if I do this? I am gonna send the Tuna Monster Glow Up Bulb to the graveyard. Oh, Gub? It's a gub? good card. No, we it's Gubbin. Card. We gubbin. Oh, gubby? shit. I know what's Any happening. Gubbers? Any Gubbers in chat? I'm gonna activate Amazon as willpower. How do you feel about that? I'm feeling pretty queer. All right, all right. We're gonna summon... We're gonna summon a different one this Bro, time. Bro, negate it with Barkeon, though. You won't. That's so true. I won't. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> all right, we got Powder then back. Hey. I would like to activate the effect of glow up bulb if you don't mind. Yeah, I bet you would. Oh, I would. Oh, no. <laughs> Rip miracle I think what's gonna be all my secret funny talk. gaming, <laughs> funny gaming moment. <laughs> funny gaming. Tragic. That's crazy. Let's burn that. I'm gonna think about summon. And it's okay. time to bring out Naturia Beast. Let's go. Hey, so this is just the god combo. Beast. The two I mean, friends. It kind of is. Only one best card bud. effect left. So he cannot stop. Battle of phase. Okay. That's fine. I am going to declare an attack. Ah, yes, hitting where it hurts. Uh that is yeah, fine. Yeah. Mm, God, and now it's actually interesting deciding what to hit here. I know you have Beetle, which is an insect in hand, which means hitting Street Patrol is not that bad. Uh, I guess you can get either of them in Grave anyway, so it doesn't matter. I guess, God, as much as I want to attack the cop, I guess I should deal damage. Okay, I will take uh, 700 on every calculation. We will attempt to activate Damage Gate. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Oh. Um, you will not be resolving Damage Gate. That it is may fair. shock Banish you to know cards. that. Okay. Banish some cards. That's a sick card. I'm just gonna set one more. All right, ever go seen to that card draw phase. All right. Can uh, we beat the boys? Is there anything on standby? Nah, you're good. You're chilling. You're having a great time. All right, we'll go to main phase. All right, so I don't want to play around this. Let's see. Um, okay, we will... Hmm, this is interesting, actually, now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more. Uh, we are... going to attempt to summon, uh, Infernity Beetle. Summon okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't matter to me. I don't care about this. That's valid, wow. Uh, we are going to... What's my grave looking like? Oh, that's a grave. Uh, okay, we are going to... How do I want to do these maneuvers? So many maneuvers to do here. So little time. Um, alright. How do I want to play this out? We'll set this over here. Okay. Down to zero. I'm down to zero in the hand now. Question is, how do I want to play this out? Um... Yeah, I don't like this, because I know that you had Compy back earlier, and it's not in the grave, and that's one of the sets. Which mm, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's fair. I think you're making things up, like... I very well may be, to be honest. Listian things. I very well may be. Um, alright. Then, we are going to... Declare Effect of Beetle. Sure. Alright, Tributes. We Fun fact the... about Beetle, it is at two copies. It is at two. I cannot special summon two. I will special summon another in defense, actually. We deck thinning. Deck thinning. <laughs> yes, we are deck thinning. It's true. Uh, and then, I mean, nothing else really after that, to be honest. And then I'm looking at my extra deck. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just uh, proceed to end phase. <laughs> Excellent. All right, end phase. The classic infinity combo of summon beetle pass. Yeah, I've gotta do what I gotta do against Nat Beast. We've just gotta force Sophie to summon Pashul in face up defense position. True, true, true. Hmm. Alright, I am gonna summon. Not an Amazonist, still a lesbian though. Warrior Lady of the Wasteland. Hello. Legit. In Legit. Ah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna start doing it. We're just gonna start doing it. Heart is based. Wah. Wah. Take twenty-five. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, well. <laughs> um, good luck, I guess? I <laughs> will draw. Staring down Bakion Beast with one card? Yep, we'll go to standby. Yeah. And main phase. Um, I mean, we will... This is interesting. Yeah, nothing much I can do with that, is there? Uh, we'll go ahead and set you. Uh, I mean, yeah, really not a lot for me to roll with here, uh, with Barkion and Beast uh, rocking out. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. Um, I, I'll be honest here. I'm probably just going to scoop here. Oh no. Because I pretty it. much just lose here, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, such is Gosh. life. Uh, I mean, well, I'll attempt to activate pod. Uh, you know what? Just for, you can have this one. Just for you. No okay. Kidding. You can have this one. Okay. Of okay. Uh, Sophie flexing. I, okay, sure. Uh, that's a flex for sure. Um, that. <laughs> um. Uh, tip to activate right. launcher. <laughs> you cannot have this one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yep, yep. That's gonna be it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Fair uh, enough. <laughs> I was going to pog out so hard if you drew into like launcher necromancer there. <laughs> uh, if only. If only. I do I have to commend out. you for perfectly filling Gordon Nova's role of playing your favorite pet deck and not getting to have fun. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of a recurring theme for us in Prague Pulse, so I kind of wanted to bring that energy into the series too, you know? That's fair. Uh, and yeah, it's... You represented it astoundingly well considering the absolutely busted hands both Sophie and I got to draw into. Yeah, that was really good, I think. And yeah, you guys are getting the lore dump. With that glorious serenade to usher in the finals, it is time. Keegan, I have yet to beat you in rock, paper, scissors. Oh, man. Well, this is the first week we don't have first turn draw, so... True. It's the first time it won't matter. <laughs> all right. Okay, all right. Draw, I Yeah, see. press one for RJ, press two for Keegan. Draw, I see. This is gonna be a tough one, RJ. I think your deck is quite good, actually. Might even be a little bit better than mine. I the cards that matter. I, I disagree. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's go again. Let's go. Okay, all right. Oh, this is let's tense. go. This is tense. Are you using a die as usual, or are you selecting using the mind oh, of I, RJ? Oh, I never use a die. Oh, he never uses a die. That's There's any psychological jankers. warfare. Press chum jank for Nova Jank. That's what you need to press. Ah! Oh! Scissors <laughs> gaming! Yes. Faded. Scissors gaming. Okay. See something busted. Oh, this we'll is take a pretty this. okay hand. Let's take this. We're gonna go duality. That's okay. Pretty what are good. we getting oh. off of this? The scrap beast. Beastaroni. Gardaroni. Ganero me. I like macaroni. I'm a big macaroni fan. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty high value dust shoot. Please, please, yes. Okay, let's see. Okay, actually, oh my goodness, this ha this hand is actually very scary. It's a good hand. Yeah. You have. This is a very good hand. That's a really good hand. That's disgusting. Okay, so Lock Cat, when this card is normal summoned, select one level one beast type monster in your graveyard and special summon it in face of defense position. It's effects are negated. This is my first time ever reading this card. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's yeah, the first gonna, time for all of us. We're going to take Rescue Cat, of course. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, you yeah, know, I, are, you, are you sure about that? I'm not totally sure that's the best card that I have. Uh, I got to take that one. All right. Go. Ring Force Hole. He and cat. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's pretty that. okay. It's, that's actually a crazy hand. Jesus God. Yes, it's, it's not the worst good. hand I've ever drawn. We're just going to set three and pass on that. Set three. Okay. Okay. I'm going to flip spy and activate. 
That's wow. Okay. What does Key Mouse do? I don't even know what that card does. Uh, when it is destroyed by battle, it uh, searches for a level three or lower beast monster from my deck. Level three or lower. That's important to note here. That's actually pretty important to note. We're going to grab the Gravekeeper's card. Okay. Interesting. Okay. We've got normal summon of the scrap beast. We okay. have effects in this moment. I am going to ring the beast here. I'm going to chain from my. You have the lance. Oh, you have scrap storm. Oh, scrap nice. storm is wow. pretty good. That's okay. really good. Now we're going to target the so scrap good. beast. Yep. So the way this works is I send a scrap from my deck to the graveyard. We're going to send scrap chimera. Mm hmm. And we get to draw one card. That's true. And then you destroy the beast. So since beast is an if you can card, he will activate. He won't miss timing. We'll be able to add back the scrap chimera. Uh, would, the, would the ring not need to resolve first? Uh, the ring the ring would resolve without effect, but because it's yeah, an if okay. you can effect instead of a when you can effect, it does not miss timing. Sure, sure. How much attack points does the cat have? I totally forgot. It has 1,200. 300,000. Oh. 1,200 is pretty good. Yeah. 1,200 is pretty good. And crash with spy. We're going to have to attack. Okay. We're going to have to attack. I can't let you have that mouse in play. Uh, key Too dangerous. mouse goes to grave and I am going to declare its effect and let's see what we can get off of this key mouse I think we want to get ourselves probably Levioneer right but that soil? seems pretty good uh, that yeah. that would make sense Noah yeah I think so too <sighs> okay um I think I have to grab God Society if Rescue Cat were a level three monster. Uh, uh, I know, dude. I know. <laughs> I. You're fucking telling me. I. Uh, yeah, I think we have to add Lock Cat to hand with this. Oh, wow. Okay, second Lock Cat. That's pretty good. That's a free plus one at the very least. It is indeed. I right, just got to pass, unfortunately. Okay, draw for turn. That's an okay card. I've got dark. Oh, hole. that is an okay card. I'm looking at the stream. Cat, cat, and an unknown. It's a tricky one, chat. Hand isn't the best this game. It's tricky. Thank you for that, Noah. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm on it tonight, man. It's a little sticky. I think play this is also a little tricky for me because, like, all you have to do is summon Scrap Chimera and you're in the game. EA I Sports. think... I think this is the plan. I Therefore, I am. Normal oh. summon... Lock it. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. We're going I'm to declare to... Lockout's effect. We're going to target the key mouse. That's good. Uh, that resolves. And unfortunately, there are no level four synchros that I can summon in this moment. You going to Herald? Sag. So we're going to go to battle, and I'm going to attack into the spy with Lockout. Just gonna Goodbye. reduce your resources if I can. And I'm gonna pass the turn. Mm. Big plays here, Chad. A tough game. This is actually really tough. No kidding. So you use Key Mouse to grab Lock Cat. So there's at least one other Lock Cat in the hand. Tom and Jerry action, baby. Yeah. Hmm. I'm really enjoying it, Noah Jank, your commentary. You're like the the like rapper in the pop song. 
who's just chucks in <laughs> like you're like Sean Paul. That's who you are. <laughs> hey, Sean Paul. Let's go one-on-one. We are going to go. All right. And we're going to target the scrap beast. Is that okay? That is okay. That's going to resolve. Bro, guard low-key kind of hot. That's cursed. I dig it. (laughs) (laughs) Truly cursed, but it it, it works. It works. Okay. This is a little awkward, but I think we're going to Birdman return the guard. Oh, Birdman, let's go. Okay, all right. Uh, Flying, soaring. And now we make ourselves Mr. Dragon. Okay. Birdman, ah, fighter of the night. we'll pop the the back row and the Birdman. Okay, yeah. Banish that bird. the mirror force, as you probably would have guessed. It's a rough one. And we will declare our mouse... Can you add Absoluter off of this? It does work. That's a good question. I think so. It, I it's think with the new errata, though. Emails, it's so not showing up. It might be pre errata, yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh, go for the Foxy tune, actually. I'm thinking about it more. That might be the best target here. Um. Is there like yeah. a Zodiac you could grab off Key Mouse? Like, or are they all level four? They're all level four. I but mean, if you cheat, you could... if you cheat, they're not. That's so true. You got me there. You can get a Melfi off of it. Ooh. Yo. Okay, let's go. Yeah, key mouse effect, add mommy. Drop my extra deck to my hand. <laughs> I think the play here is to add the fabled Pegasus to my hand. Literally Yo. sus. Pegging sus. Literally sus. Bro, actually, so I actually look like the dude riding it. Noah Jenk face reveal. Huh. That's the face reveal. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, I not like the Pegasus. So you have successfully forced out the dark hole here. <laughs> yeah, 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 true, true. We're going to bring out our little beastie boy. Okay. Scrap beast. The return of the revengeance dog. If that's horn of the phantom beast i might be a little bit owned here oh well i'm owned anyway uh let's normal summon lock cat let's declare lock cat that that works okay that works i will summon our key mouse i'm a jerry baby and then i will activate that solidarity is- really no. oh. <laughs> okay let's fucking go that's uh- hype Let's go to battle. I will attack in with Lockcat. Walk us up the wild it worked. Your knight. It worked. The attack went through. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect that to occur. Oh. The beast type monsters have uh, unionized. I can't believe this is going as well as it is. Ojama pajama. Hmm. New back row. New back row two on top of all that. That's scary. We'll try uh, Thunder King. Jesus right God. Now. What is this deck? <laughs> okay, hard counters so the key apparently... to your strategy. Huh. You love death sentences too, apparently. Question yeah, sentences mark. are base as hell, dude. <laughs> okay, I like we how you are just, going like, to words. warning this. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. That's a series of insane spell and traps. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, what is this? Lock cat is two thousand. Key mouse is nine hundred, and we know the last card is the Peggle Sis. True. Peggle sus. Peggle too. Oh, that's really sus. Uh, that's a little bit rough under these circumstances. Um, Solidarity made it into this format in the Machina structure deck, Machina Mayhem. That is that's correct. Let's. Good structure deck. Very good structure deck. Let's go to battle. Yeah. Uh, and I'll attack in okay. with Lockcat. We are going to take that 2,000. Main phase two. But... What a maneuver. That could be kind of cute, but I don't think it deals with the biggest problem that you could present me here. And I also know 
I know one of the cards in hand is Gravekeeper's Guard. Uh, if you... I think I can deal with a guard if I do this. Okay, I'm going to try for this simply because it is the funniest play my deck has available to us. Let's normal summon the fabled Pegasus. Do you have a response? Um, I don't think so. This okay. guy's a tuner? He is a tuner. Okay. Right. Someone's We're okay. going to synchro for four into the I fabled didn't have a four. unicorn. I didn't have a four that I could summon four. without a fabled tuner. Ah, understandable. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, that and is pretty good. I will pass the turn from there. Huh. Well then. So this guy negates as long as we have the same number of cards in hand. So as of right now... That's correct. I'm chilling. That's such you a are. fucking headache. Okay. Yeah, it's certainly a weird card okay. to, yeah, no to operate around. Okay. Scrap when the yard is yard. scrap. Whoa. Beast. Okay. Do you guys know what I, what I mean when I say revenge doll, or am I just saying words together? You've been saying it, and it's just been, like, sliding over the top of my okay, head. Okay, okay, yeah. The, in in Metal Gear, Metal Gear Re Rising Revengeance, there's, like, a robotic dog that you fight, and that's, like, the same thing. And it I, joins you eventually. I was going to say it looks like a Metal Gear character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tungsten Mine gets it. I'm my own master now. Noah, Ooh, that's your MO. So great. true, actually. That's pretty solid. Uh, yeah, I will take uh, 20 or 31. Yep. I really just say I words. Believe, right I'm not sure exactly. Uh, the Ring of Destruction errata from the time, I'm not sure if it deals 31 or 23, but I think it's 20 or 31. I'm doing a Google game. Don't you okay. even worry. Okay. It oh, should this be the is actually a fun game, actually. Duelist Pack Kaiba. Yeah, it looks it's like pretty it, grindy. Yeah, did it was not original attack until the latest errata. Okay. The grind game is fun though. I like the grind game. So that's probably guard. Draw for turn. Main phase one. Plot of all good. Ability. That's a good fucking card. Banish three. Results. All right, let's look at it. Elephant the elephant. 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 Add the funny hamster. The funny hamster is kind of what I want. The thing is... Hamtaro Gaming. Oh. Wow, that ring put me in such a bad position. Honestly, I was going to be in a little bit of trouble here no matter what. I think we have to grab my own beast. Bro. Oh. And the reason is because next turn, if I don't grab beast, you're guaranteed to get scrap dragon. Uh, and then we're Blade Wolf. Blade going to Wolf normal summon scrap beast. Do you have a okay. response to the normal summon? Okay. Blade Wolf. Actually. Oh, that's okay. Let's swing in. I'll go ahead and yeah. crush card. Oof. Okay. Uh, it is scrap beast, and we have a key mouse. And all right, uh, your go. This is rough. He right. now bought him down the plot today. True. Equal cool mousing is staying alive here. All right. This is so awkward, but I gotta do it. Yeah, that makes I sense. I gotta do it. He mousey. Okay. Start turn. You know when you top. would select a. Uh, character. Okay. In, uh, Street Fighter Third Strike. It would oh, go, yeah, good. that makes sense. Uh, that is probably pretty good for me. Uh, main phase one, I am going to normal summon Key Mouse, and you may have it. That's all good. I will take the Key Mouse. Okay. All right, what do we have? Uh, it is a card I cannot switch. It is the spy. Oh, I am so glad I did that. Uh, your go. So you have beast, All right. key mouse. All right. Beast and key mouse. Bum, bum, what bum, can bum, we bum, do bum. here? 
We're gonna switch this little guy to defense, maybe? No, we're not. He's what? a tuner. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you have. Uh, so how does this work? Tuners God. in your deck. Oh shit. If this guy isn't in play, I still get the search, right? Oh uh, no, it has to be in play. It triggers during the end phase. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so we're just gonna hold that L, and we'll summon ourselves a magical android. Nice. That's pretty solid. Nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, and it is a spy set. who I do not have any targets for. All right, end phase will activate Android, go up to 31, and okay. pass the turn. All right. Draw for Big turn. Monster. Our last draw under Orange. crush card is oh, a pretty goddamn pretty good. good one. Okay. That's pretty good. That's, that's not bad. Good. Okay. That's uh, in the deck. What do we need to get off of this? Uh, honestly, a scrap chimera would be fucking sick right now. Let's rep it. Chimera, no effect. Let's go. All right. Hell ooh, yeah! Ooh, there we ooh, are. Ooh, okay. Yeah. The chimera. Let's okay. Oh. Chimera works. It is the only card I have that easily gets over magical android without special summoning. Uh, true crush card virus, which true. is impressive. And we will go to battle and swing in. For 100. Goodbye. For 100. Oh, my no. sweet android. All right, we a just got to we just got a one-time fade one of two chimeras. <laughs> That's crazy dark as hell. Dragon. Dragon. Yeah, I didn't quite get the dark. Okay. Oh Jesus. All right. Okay. Those are not, not great. great. Um, and by not great, I mean they're kind of terrible. Oh, they're not bad. Yeah, they're you're looking pretty bad right now. You're not going to draw a monster. That's what's going to happen. That's okay. True. I mean, the or... odds that I don't draw a monster in this deck are pretty high. I'm not going to lie. How many monsters have you used so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of 15. Ugh. Whatever. It's 50 50. Okay. Good luck, RJ. Draw for turn. Good luck. Oh, it's not monster. a monster, but it does it. Solidarity. Ah, Let's go. The top deck for the win. 20. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. Good oh. fucking game, Keegan. Oh, Holy game. shit. I was hype. Oh. oh the man. power of solidarity. The power of solidarity. Oh. God, we had some, that's some cards we could have hit. Some oh, cards. we're on the scene! <laughs> Keegan is literally just playing everything. Every card uh, in the no, format is in all. this deck. <laughs> My game plan was to get the Gen X Neutron and then use him to search, actually, the Cycle Reader to turn on my crush card. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a crush card deck! <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, yeah. Astounding. It's also one card light and dark for Chaos Emperor. That Yo. is unbelievably based. That's pretty based. I got the Chain Dog now. What are you gonna do? The Chain Dog is oh, yours no. now. Chain Dog Millionaire. What oh. a sick week. This this pool was like one of the hardest to work with for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I feel like we had like ten really busted cards, and then like thirty like. Ah, cards. It was kind of just like floating around until you found your busted cards. I don't know. This is a good sure. one. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, like I, I had to try like five different decks before I settled on playing the like Amazonis, Nat Beast stuff. Which even then is just Machina Gadget, but worse. But you know, I'm a lesbian. What can yeah, I say? True. Yeah, I'm very glad nobody decided to bring Machina Gadget because not only is that probably the best deck of the format, it's also unbelievably boring. We have an election to hold. Who's ready for some democracy in chat? We must elect the people's duelist to this week. Our options are Noah Jenk, who brought the pet 
Project Infernity deck showed us a deck I did not even consider for this format, but it looked pretty sick. And I think it, it, with a little optimization, we could probably even make that a, a good deck for the format. We have Sophie, who is on the Amazons, one of the uh, crucial decks of D-Rev format that I was really looking forward to seeing and had a pretty decent showing. We had Keegan, who was on Machine Chaos. That deck looked sick and absolutely ridiculous, some of the cards that you were on. And then we had me on the Beastie Boys. You have one minute to vote. Ooh, I like that. I think it would be a little criminal if the chat voted for you to play the deck and then didn't vote you as the people's duelist. Because this is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> they voted for your deck, so they had the chance to pick the people's My duelist siblings deck. in Christ, you chose the deck. Exactly, exactly. There are mad viewers not voting. That's kind of disrespectful. No, that's true. All 47 of you. I follow right now, and Noah Jank will give you 10, 12 million dollars each. All right, and with 60% <laughs> of the vote, I got the People's Duelist. You know, I'm I'm so happy with everything about this. Uh, I appreciate chat for voting in the coolest deck that I had available. It was uh, a good choice. I cannot believe how well it turned out. Bit of a recap, bit of a recap. This week, I took a tough L to RJ in the finals. He had a very, very powerful beast down deck with Lock, Cat, and Key Mouse, which our deck kind of struggled dealing with. Crush Card Virus, unfortunately, doesn't hit those floating engines, and he was able to use his trap cards and his spell cards to keep our Scrap Dragon and Scrap Twin Dragons out of play, so we couldn't break through his Lock, Cat, and Key Mouse plus Solidarity combo. Our deck, though, Overall, I think I'm very proud of this deck. I think it's one of the most fun decks I've ever gotten a chance to play. The Grand Finals was just like an absolute blast. Love scraps. I love formats like this, limited formats with Duelist Revolution cards like Solemn Warning. I don't love constructed formats with Solemn Warning, but hey, got a chance to play them. If you guys haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to not only everyone else in this video, but RJ, the man himself, for putting this format on the map. Wave Motion Yu-Gi-Oh! has been one of the most fun things I've done in the last few months. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy to say because I've done a lot of fun things, but building decks in a limited format like this and exploring card pools and min-maxing on like these cool archetypes that really didn't get to shine at the time, like Scraps or like Chaos Emperor Dragon... It's just been a blast. Make sure and show your support for RJ and them. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. And that brings Duelist Revolution to a close. And I gotta say, I like this format a lot. Duelist Revolution is probably my favorite wave motion format so far. It really feels like it's lived the dream of making decks like Amazonas that are completely unplayable in TCG into viable contenders, which is exactly what this series was made for. There are so many things you can do in this format. The four decks we played, yes, but also things like gadgets, things like Watt, like Machine Synchro, those Nordic and Fabard cards to play with as engines, even if there aren't enough to make four decks. There is just a ton you can do with Duelist Revolution, and it's gonna be hard for the next format to live up to it. I'm hoping it'll still be something good, but I don't know if I'll have nearly as fun with that one as I did building for this. At the very least, I sure hope it gives me another lesbian deck, you know. I gotta keep up the brand. All in all, I gotta say, I really enjoyed my time on Wave Motion. Um, in retrospect, I think I probably would have made some edits to the Infernity deck, and I think I probably vastly underestimated the uh, sheer power of counter traps like Solemn Warning at the time. Uh, and even in my deck building process, uh, I even underestimated the power of things like Pot of Duality, when in this format specifically, I mean, we saw Sophie uh, resolve Pot of Greed into Pot of Duality, I think at least two times, which in itself is a Pretty insane combo, to be totally honest with you. Let's you get basically any kind of card you want uh, out of it. 
Uh, and in retrospect, I think another thing that probably would have helped me out in the long run is um, not shotgunning uh, some of my reactions. Um, for example, in game my game against Sophie, uh, I definitely shotgunned my crush card virus. Uh, I think if I held on to it maybe a little bit longer, uh, that would have probably helped me out in the long run. But it, when you're playing a deck as fragile as Infernities, sometimes it's best just to hit the normal summon uh, whenever you can and basically just pray to the gods that you don't die within the next three seconds. Uh, but I mean, other than that, I'm pretty happy I got to showcase Infernities. Uh, I do wish maybe I got to show off maybe a little bit more, because I don't think I Synchro Summoned even once, which is kind of funny in retrospect and uh, a little bit sad. But hey, it happens. You know what? I, I really don't think there's any better way for Infernities to groove and move in wave motion format than not Synchro Summoning one time. I mean, that's how you play Infernities, right? That's just the classic play style for them. Uh, but in my defense, no monsters were set in the spell and trap zone, so at least I got that going for me. I can't believe it. After last week's tragedy, I have earned redemption. Both the W in one of the sickest games of Yu-Gi-Oh! I have ever played and the People's Duelist vote. I am so honored. I'm so excited that chat voted for this deck and I'm so glad that this deck could take us to the finish line. This episode was so cracked and there are so many decks we haven't even touched. We've barely scratched the surface and I think Keegan has something really interesting that may be a minor atrocity in the bank for us to do a showcase duel with. I, I, I cannot recommend Duelist Revolution format enough. This format was everything I ever wanted out of Wave Motion Yu-Gi-Oh! I got exactly the episode I have been waiting for all this time. Uh, and and, and I, I, this series is just so cool. I'm having such a good time, folks. And I hope you had a great time too. And if you had a really great time and you want to support us in making more episodes of this and support us in now going weekly, we're going to be making this every single week. You can head over to patreon.com slash the RJB zero where you can get early access to every weekly episode. You can get some showcase matches. You can get deck profiles for all of the decks that I made this week and so much more. And it'll help us to continue putting out ridiculous episodes like this one. Go forward in humble confidence, my friends, and I hope you have a wonderful day.